Good morning. I saw a great story recently about a, a young African-American man who walked into a, an antique store up in the Boston area. The antique store was called Remarkable Estates. He was wearing his face cover, his mask for the coronavirus. And he came into the store and he saw an old antique piano that was normally off limits to people. But he asked the, one of the workers there, could he play it? And they said, go for it. He sat down at the piano and started playing Journey's song, Don't Stop Believing," And he rocked. I mean, he was great. And all the different customers who were in the store, they all just stopped what they were doing to come around and to listen to this young man play because it was so good and it was so inspiring. Well, somebody had a, an iPhone running. They got it all captured. But and they then the store manager learned about it and was also quite interested. His name was Mark Waters. He owns the store. He's probably in his 60s now, an older white guy. He saw what had happened. He loved it. And he wanted to find out who this man was. Because he was wearing a mask, no one could identify him. They put it on Facebook, and it went viral. I mean, everybody loved this story of this guy coming in, sitting down, playing the song, Don't Stop Believing. It just made your heart feel good. But since no one could identify him, Mark turned to the local news and said, could you help us reach out? I really want to find this man. And so they did. And soon they had tracked down a young man named John Capron. He was 23 years old, a student at Northeastern University there in Boston. And it was Mark who invited him, I want you to come back and to play again. And so John came back. He played again. And again, he was just amazing. He explained that he had taught himself how to play when he was 15 years old. He had never owned a piano. And that's when Mark said, well, I want to change that. He took him over to where he had a blanket covering something and he pulled the blanket off and it was a Steinway piano. And he said, John, it's yours. Well, you can imagine. I mean, John Capron, he, he just kept saying, it blew my mind. It's blowing my mind. And Mark, well, it brought tears to his eyes. He said, you know, it's always so special when you can bring joy to somebody else, but it also does something to your heart. Couldn't help but think about how yesterday, during worship, we celebrated Christmas in July. We did it by looking at the movie and the Broadway musical, Elf. And remember, every Tuesday afternoon, I'm going to be doing the pastor's cut where I tell you all the things that got cut from the sermon because I didn't have time. And if you want to hear some more behind the scenes, you can go there at our website and, and our Facebook page and look at the pastor's cut. But what we saw on Sunday was you and I can have great joy because a Savior is born. It doesn't matter what's going on in the world around us. Some of those things we can't change. I mean, yesterday we had 1,204 new cases of the coronavirus. Right now we're still struggling. How are we going to do with our schools? When do they open? Are they going to be um, virtual? Are they going to be in person? And, you know, there's so much uncertainty going on around us right now and things that you and I can't control. But what you and I can control is whether we walk in a spirit of love towards others. It's the Christmas spirit. And when you and I choose to reach out and bless somebody else and bring them happiness, you know, it does something to our heart. It helps the way you and I look at the world. What I'd like to suggest today is you and I start this week together is look for somebody that you can do something really nice for. Go out of your way to surprise them. Really be kind. Take this week to do it. Identify somebody and figure out what you can do and you go bless life. When you do that, not only are you going to bring joy in this world to somebody else, it's going to do something to your heart, and I believe it's going to put you into the Christmas spirit. I hope you have a great day, and I just want to wish you a Merry Christmas.